We have John Brennan, the manager of Brickwell FC. John, many congratulations on retaining the Premier Division title. I'll ask you for a few of your thoughts. Thank you. Um, at the moment, elated, very happy, yeah, um, relieved. I've been very anxious today, so I'm glad to just have a bit of a release now. I know that we've got that sealed, but also I've got my mind on other things now, because obviously I want to enjoy this as much tonight, but then my mind's still going to wander about the League Cup final, a couple of semis we've got, and yeah, other things that we want to grab. Yeah. Talk to you, talked about how you're feeling in, in the build up to this game because you've had, in fairness, opportunities to wrap up before, mm. for a reason another didn't happen, and it did come down to, to a final day decider. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we should have wrapped it up against Griff, we let them back in, one thing led to another, and that's where we were today. Um, I know I probably not shouldn't mention this, but I mean, I didn't expect Salco to be in this position, but when um, turn of events happened and, and they, they did manoeuvre themselves into this position, we just had to accept it and, and uh, play what was in front of us and that's exactly what we did tonight. What was your thoughts uh, or, or talk to the players coming into this match obviously because you are the defending champions and you had the upper hand of the two point lead and beating South Coast twice already this season? I was just, my, my team talks have been a lot this season as it was tonight but even more vociferous tonight. It was that I, I get the feeling like no one likes us well. No one likes us, no one, no one wants to see us do well. Everyone hates us. We, we, we're branded with this stigma of this council estate scallions that, that rock up and we threaten people and we, we're abusive and we don't play with high tempo, we don't play good football. We just there to kick and rush and, and bat people. But, you know, I use that to my advantage because it helps me spur the boys on. But at the same time, I know my heart parts. I'd like to think most of the the, the paying spectators today would say that we're not that team, we're not that sort of people, we're not that council estate bunch of misfits. We're, we're actually a football team, we played really good tempo tonight. We took it to the opposition, no matter who they brought down there. They had a few cameo bowlers, don't get, don't get it wrong, but I'm not bothered about who they played. It was, there was a little bit of need in the build up to this about um, the, the six appearance rule, which it got kiboshed by the county, and um, it weren't even about, it's never about who they bought, it was about the interest of fairness and I feel like the interest of fairness and integrity we should have had the players that play week in week out, you're in, you know, your core of your squad and then that gives the, 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 gives the competition the respect it deserves. Some people want to bend that respect and they don't want to play the players that have been there every week. A, it's muggy on your team and B, it's muggy on your win because if you do get it, then bunch of mercenaries are going to niche off back up the M4 or back down the M4, whatever way you're coming, not give a shit. Whereas me and my boys who've been here from day one, I've got a bunch of core players there that made 16, 17, 18 appearances or however many games we played. That's because they've been there from day one to this point now. And they helped me win this title and I appreciate it, I'm told. Do you, do you think that the fact that you've gone out there tonight and you've not only retained the title, you've won the match in 90 minutes has, has proven that you are once again, the, the best team in the East Barks League on, on the football pitch where it matters. Yeah, for sure. I'll say, I'll say something. I will always be biased. I'll back my boys to the hill and I think they're the best team in the league by a mile. But that goes out today and proves it. And, and, and I, think, I think I use certain things to my advantage in the build up to games and I'll say, like, no. The way that things have engineered for other teams, I, I, I'll say that, no, that's a spike on Brickwell. They only do that because they don't want to see us in this position. And it cheers my boys up. It actually does me a favour. And obviously, not only have you, have you retained the title, but you are, without a doubt, the best side in, in the league at the moment. You beat off the likes of South Coast, the Young Pretenders, Old Windsor. How does it make you feel personally as the manager of the team to, to keep hold of that Premier Division title for another season? I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. But it ain't even about me. I, I, I just, I get all the cogs and make it a will. It's about that will. And there's big factors in that will. Like Sean Wright, who was here tonight, the chairman of our club, has been there since 1974 since our club was founded, and he's watched us out there and he just said to me, you've made my week, you've made my month, you've made my year. That means more to me than anything, anything. I've got my kids here that grew up on the brick wall. I grew up on the brick wall. I've got all of my, my supporters over there. Nine out of ten, Aiden Christian scored two goals tonight. That lad was born and raised brick wall. I've known him since we grew up on the Wentworth. I knocked around his brothers, his sisters, his mum, his dad, everyone. That is, that is what our club's about. That's the ethos of Brickwell FC. I've got to ask you about the match itself, with all the pressure coming into it, it was a winner-takes-all match and you run out fairly comfortable 3-1 winners. Yeah, yeah. There was some, they're an active team, I'll give them the respect they do. They're an active team, they've got quite high tempo and they've got some good players. We know that they've got weapons. So I was really happy with the way we asserted ourselves in the game. And 
our tempo was you know, as high as it's been all season. And, and the way that we defended as well, that was what impressed me the most. Because a lot of times this season, we'd give goals away. We've been a bit lacklustre in our defending, but today it was sort of empty out, squeeze, push, power, pace, and that's exactly what our team's about. And I was just over the moon with it. Did you have any nervous moments when there were a couple of chances, the, the missed penalty and, and Cheyenne as well getting close to goal where could have wrapped it up a little bit earlier? Yeah, Cheyenne could have, he sort of fluffed, he's a typical Cheyenne really, he's scored the hardest chances and he'll fluff the easy ones, but in fairness, I won in a panicking situation because we were 3-1 up at the time when Aidan missed the pen and also when Cheyenne missed that chance and with our team, we never, never say die. Never, we never roll over. Even we played South Carl over at Air Gap in the matchbox pitch. It was, it was a pile of poo, and um, we was they, they, they went two one up, and we pulled it back. The minute we pulled it back to two two, I knew we was going to win the game. You know, like, I'm not saying I'm mystic, mate, but I could just see that I could envisage the way it was going to pan out, and, and that's the faith that I've got in the boys each week. Even when things get a little bit hairy, I'm, my inner monologue says to me, "Chill out, it's going to be fine. I know it'll be fine," and then it all works out. I remember you, you and I had a conversation with, with Ultimate Eleven at the start of the season and you said this year Brickwell FC want to win everything. You've got yeah. the main one in the bag, you've retained the Premier Division title and there's yeah. lots of cup competitions still, still to play for the season yeah. by far from over from you guys yet, is it? Yeah, no, 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 it's definitely not over. We were in the League Cup final, we got a Windsor, who we were um, more than capable adversary. We've got two cup semis, the Ascot and the North Falcon, and we've got the Challenge Cup still to play for. And I fully intend to give them every last inch of what we've got, because there's not one or the other that we want to win more, we want the lot. Hmm. And what is, what is, I know it's a, it's a league in transition at the moment, but what does the future hold for Brickwell FC? It's, it's hard enough to win the league, you've now retained it the first time since 2016. Is the challenge now for you guys to say, to take on all comers and see, and see what comes next? In terms of what, what comes next for Brickwell, I've got a lot of questions I ask myself. There are, I've got questions that the boys ask me, and then there's so many factors involved in that equation that I need to take into consideration before I make any decisions. Because ultimately, I play for the boys. I, I work for my well, man. You know, I, I work for a lot of people. So it's never just down to me. So as much as I do say that it's stressing me out in certain situations, and I, and I want to, um, I want to maybe try a different direction. I also have to take into consideration what my boys think and what my area thinks. And also, well, John, firstly, many congratulations. You have once again retained the Premier Division champion. Britain Thank Will FC are champions. Thanks very much. Thank you to all the opposition players this season and made it worthwhile. Thank you.